Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM 2. We've just come back from a retaliation mission, which was very, very successful. We uh, rescued more civilians than normal and uh, didn't lose anybody, so that was quite good. Of course, people got hurt, but there you go, only wounded, lightly wounded. Uh, void rift training, that's nice. Alright, so... Let us continue. One day for the resistance comms, which we need, so we can go and assault the uh, Avatar facility. Uh, intel. Uh, I kind of want intel. Hmm. Supply drop in 15 days. Wait a second, what's this? Oh yeah, that's another... Oh, I forgot. Abandoned cam. That's the intel. Do we have anything else? I haven't played in a couple of days. Heal faster, there we go. I should have done this from the beginning maybe, but then again, not really because I never really had no missions available like I did before. Uh, I, like I did, you know, a couple of uh, parts ago. So, what's this one? Investigate the Advent Forge. The material recovered from the alien black site included a set... Oh yeah, we must make contact with the local uh, area, so... Uh, scratch that. We are going to probably heal faster for the moment. Setting course <clears throat> for sector one, the Arctic. The Arctic. All right, let's do that first. Now, where is that UFO? It's just gone. It's quite interesting. Welcome, Commander. Peking Duck Ranger. We have quite a few supplies. Our new scientist. Well, for now, this is going to be. F uh oh, there's the UFO. Generate an explosive field of psionic energy that immediately damages everything within. That is nice. Fuse, schism, or fortress. Hmm. I'm gonna go for fuse, because I quite like that. <clears throat> yeah, let's go for that. I really like that ability. It not only it damages enemies, you know, wherever they are, wherever you can see them with your psi operative and attack them. There's fire there? What the hell's going on? There's... It's fire there. <laughs> um, yeah, but you also get rid of their grenades or, well, micro-missiles and stuff like that for the mech, so it's really nice. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> this facility will be done soon, and Captain K is still not ready. He's still hurt. So let's see. What if I do this? Will that uh, UFO find me there? Resistance communication there we go. Now operational. Excellent. That is what I need. Now let's uh, put Thorn on that. And now we have quite a few contacts. Three more contacts, which is almost as much as we need, I believe. Let's see. We need one, two, three. Uh, anything else? Yeah. That's pretty much what we need. Three more con- no, 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 wait. One, two... No, yes it is! Three contacts. That is all we need. No, wait. Four. <laughs> I lied. There's one over here. Now the question is, uh, we- this is not a time- I mean, this is not a time mission either, but this one will be adding to the Avatar project, I think, so this takes precedent. Uh, let's make contact over there. Ah, oh, we don't have the intel. Ooh, uh, what are we researching? Advent... Uh... Wait, what, what are we researching? Let's see... Decryption progress, okay, the psionic gate. Well, let's finish that and then we'll probably go for the advent data pad. Um, I want to get away from that, hmm... Should I get away from that UFO? Let's go to the abandoned camp. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Holy crap. That scared me. It was right there and it's a lot faster than our Avenger, I think. Alright. Oh. Wow, oh, that's so cool. Are you sure you want to open this? But you're the only one who can pull this off. Oh, a drone. You know, I'd go myself if I could. The gateway is primed. Is the subject prepared? Ready. Gremlin? I hardwired what was left of the Codex brain into Rover. It should be emitting the same signal the Codex used to pass through the gateway. <laughs> Excellent. Let us begin. 
We've already seen the Codex opening a similar rift in the field. I am sure your device will be fine. <laughs> Why does it blink? <laughs> That's so silly. There. We're set to record across all spectrums. Remember. Go in. Take some quick readings. Then come right back through. Okay? This is... This is her personal drone. Oh. Whoa. Are you seeing this? Oh, wow. It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power. Oh, yeah. It doesn't yeah. look like any place we've been before. Or any place on Earth, for that matter. Perhaps this is the source. The alien's seat of power, if you will. Secure beyond any physical limitations. Only one way to find out. Go on. We're counting on you. Uh oh. That must be the alien's homeworld. Oh! I thought that was gonna happen. Definitely not fine, Doctor. The process did work. There was an instant where the device was in between locations. However, once that occurred, the gateway called for a second signature, an organic signature. When we could not provide one, it generated a sort of feedback pulse. Obviously. If the codex creates the door, this organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. I would hate for this to occur to something organic. Agreed. I'll report our findings to the commander immediately. The commander was watching. So there you go. Whoa! Although the logistical concerns involved in transporting a large piece of potentially unstable alien technology were difficult to manage, they are easily dwarfed by the risks involved in attempting to operate this device within the confines of the Avenger. Although Shan and I both had our concerns, given the directives of our operation, we saw little alternative but to begin experimenting on this gateway as soon as possible. After a period of slow, deliberate, deliberate power increases accompanied by the appropriate level of monitoring, we felt comfortable enough to leave the gateway operating at its idle in its idle state. At that point, we conducted a series of simple tests of various subjects to better understand how the aliens used the device for transportation. Initially, we saw no means of actually putting the gateway into an active state. That is to say, <sighs> Why not give me a slider? That is to say, the gateway itself seemed to disregard or ignore the objects we passed through. Having studied the alien codex and its ability to open rifts in the field for deployment, we theorized the gateway may be tied to a similar signal or key integrated into the codex itself. Sure enough, by mirroring the frequencies found in close proximity to the codex, we found that the gateway itself enters a second active condition. Shen was hesitant to relegate her pet gremlin to use in our experiment, but she recognized the value in having a remote test subject, and we had no other units available to spare. Unfortunately, our initial theories as to the gateway's functions overlooked the possibility that it was also tied to the biological components of the Codex. Shen's personal gremlin suffered some relatively minor damage during our test. So why? This is the goddamn PC version. Why not give us a slider? Come on. It's just lazy. Blah, blah, blah. Shen's personal gremlin suffered some relatively minor damage. Uh, damage during our test, but its sacrifice led to an important uh, re uh, bleh, revelation in terms in terms of of how we might access the gateway this gateway and discover its source our tigan hey tigan how about you use some of this ultra advanced technology to uh, give me a damn slider for the text <laughs> right so i'm not going to do the shadow project just yet i want this our research proceeding as expected commander i want this research uh, research on the uh advent data pad to um you know to be done the so coordinates we discovered encoded on the genetic sample recovered from the advent black site 
imply we may have only scratched the surface of the alien's infrastructure as it relates to this Avatar project. We were fortunate to recover the genetic sample when we did. Otherwise, our path may have very well ended here. Mm. Alright, so it's not here. Uh, I have a free engineer, but that doesn't really matter because I don't have any open spaces at the moment. <clears throat> So we have to be careful about that UFO. So let's get that uh, stuff researched. I have made a there number of interesting <clears throat> discoveries, Commander. I am ready to begin on your order, Commander. Advent database decryption? No, nope, not at the moment because we have how much? Uh, 44 intel. Uh, well, I will need more. But you know what? Let's go for the other shadow stuff, Commander. We are not currently performing any. Okay, fine. Just do this in the meantime. Work begins immediately, <clears throat> Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Encrypted codex data. Let's do this. Alright. So we are going to do that. Uh, proving grounds. Maybe I should do something else over here. Powered weapon. Skull jack. Another war suit, perhaps? I mean, they are very, very good. Hmm. Wraith suit. Advanced explosives. Oh. Now we can use those skills to uh, upgrade our entire arsenal of explosives. Yes, 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 please. Commander. <coughs> I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Good. And um, let's have another war suit, maybe. There we go. And maybe another experimental heavy weapon. Alright. And the rest of the course I will uh, keep for now. Alright. So let's go and make contact over there. Let me just check first. Where is that UFO? Where is it? It's gone again. Alright, well, that's fine with me. Right, so let's go make contact over there. Yes. Setting course for Sector 4, Chile. Alrighty. So three or four days over here, four days. Attempting to establish local regional contact. <clears throat> oh, new targets acquired. Damn it. Not now. Resistance informant reduces the retaliation counter. Uh there's chrysalids everywhere. Decreases the supplies given. Oof. Or places hidden faceless. Well, this one is not nice, retaliation counter, but I don't want to only have the supplies next time, so, uh, yeah, we'll be doing this one. Elite Officer Heavy Mac Andromedon Sectoid Gatekeeper Archon Chrysalid. Ugh, Gatekeeper and the Andromedon, but, well, let's do this. Setting course <clears throat> for the Indonesian zone. Indonesian zone. Alright. Let us do this. The problem is, if that UFO catches me, and our soldiers are, you know, hurt, it's gonna be a problem. Alright. Now let's see what we have. We have uh, Oz over here. <laughs> Shrink, Sergeant Jones. <laughs> That's quite appropriate, she's medical. She's a shrink. Alright. Uh, Georgie. Well, he's a healer, so that's quite nice. Kara and one big fat guy. Can we train up someone else? Captain K, maybe. Another Psy operative. Or Noob Slayer, who's another sharpshooter. Alright, let's make armor available and utility items. Alright, so Kara, over here. I think we'll get the other suit. So let's see, the Warden armor is the best medium class armor available. Two inventory slots. See, this is the same amount of health, but it also gives you more armor. However, she does lose one utility slot. Yeah, hmm. Flamethrower for now, because you'll be up close and personal. It's pretty good, though. Alright. You're getting the dragon rounds. Ooh, blue screen rounds. Could be quite nice as well. Hmm. 
I think dragon rounds for now. Alright. I'm not really a fan of these gas grenades, to be completely honest. Uh, blue screen rounds for you. You've got the hazmat. This is locked for some reason. Why? Maybe I need to do this. Yeah. Wraith suit. Oh yeah, because it... Ugh, of course, it's the Wraith suit. Never mind. Alright, let's see weapon upgrades. Advanced repeater. 10% chance to instantly kill. Your aim is 74. That's not that great. I would like someone else to get that repeater. I believe you already have the repeater. You have a repeater, not an advanced repeater. But I don't want to just throw this one away. It's still quite nice. Um... Weapon upgrade, advanced scope, and autoloader. What about Georgie? Let's give you a nano med kit and a skull jack. No, actually, not you. Um, you can have a flashbang. Because she has the... There. Does that make a difference? Yes, it does. 60 plus 40? 60 plus 65, however... You have 80 hack. But you don't have the haywire protocol, so never mind. She'll get the, uh... The hacking thing. Skulljack. There we go. Alright. Um... Yes, Georgie has... Advanced stock and scope. It's only plus 5%, and he is pretty damn um, accurate already, so I'm gonna give him an advanced repeater. There we go. I like how that looks. Look at that. Nice. Alright, so we have healing, healing, dragon rounds, EMP rounds, well, electro thingy rounds. What else do we have that we didn't take? Another medkit and a stasis vest. Hmm. We can have a stasis vest. Um, I mean a medkit. Alright. I think we are ready. Alright. Let's do this. Go, go, go. Well, we gotta stop this thing. Of course, it's gonna be a timer. Alright, everyone, get ready. It's gonna be bloody chrysalids and gatekeepers and Andromedons. A hidden alien communications relay in this area is being used by Advent to transmit critical data back to their network. The loss of that data will stop their latest project in its tracks. So we're moving in to destroy the relay before they complete the transfer. Ah, uh, great. We're expecting a strong contingent of security forces. Neutralize them and secure the site. Destroy that relay at all costs. Alright. Everyone ready? I pressed caps lock, didn't work this time around, but oh well. <clears throat> Oh wow, we're in the city. Is it the slums? I think it's the slums. Yeah, it's the slums. Um, where's my te um, team? There we go. <laughs> that was weird. Where's the armor? There we go. <laughs> oh wow. It's this one. Okay, I don't think we can hack that one, so this is... A little bit more difficult. I mean, we can fire at it, and I believe you cannot miss it. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, there you go. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we will continue next time. Bye-bye.